Hey guys, have you ever wondered how to securely share your organization's resources with external partners? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, I will show you how to invite external users in Microsoft Intra ID. And I promise it is super straightforward. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more practical tech videos. I would love to hear about your experiences with external user management in the comments below. Today's topic is all about managing guest access. You know, those times when you need to bring in external consultants, contractors, or partners and give them secure access to your systems. This is especially useful in business-to-business -business B2B collaborations where secure resource sharing is essential. Ready to learn how? Let's jump right in. First, head over to portal.azure.com and sign in. Once you are in, look for Microsoft Intra ID. Now, here's where the magic happens. Go to the user section and you will spot a new user button. Click on that and voila, you'll see an option called invite external user. This is exactly what we need. Click on that. Now for the fun part, this is where we'll enter our guest's personal email address. But in a real life scenario, you will provide a company email address of your external user to access your resources. However, for this quick example, let's say we are inviting a consultant named Sera Chen. I will use Sera Chen dot the consultant at gmail.com as our example email. Don't worry, this is just for demo purposes. For the display name, we'll simply put Sera Chen. I'll keep this box checked, send invite message. And we'll add a friendly welcome message like welcome aboard. Now, just so you know, these external users typically work for a time period, let's say for a six months contract. And after that, you can delete these external users. And here's a cool feature. We can CC other team members on this invitation. So I will add myself. Now the system automatically creates an invite redirect URL, but here's a pro tip. You can customize this for your company if needed. So I'm gonna click on next properties. We'll just set up Sarah as a guest user. It is super simple, just like setting up a regular user. We'll note that she's our marketing consultant in her profile. Next up, we'll add her company name, Chen Marketing, and specify her department as marketing. Almost done. We'll set her usage location to United States and hit next assignment. At this point, we could assign specific groups or roles, but let's keep it simple for now. Let me click on next review plus invite and you can review your selections and click on invite. All right, there we go. The external user, Sarah Chen, has been invited. Now here's a pro tip. If you want to practice before inviting real guests, try sending an invite to your personal email to see how everything works from both sides. After you send the invitation, your guest will get a friendly email from Microsoft with an invitation link. All they need to do is click the link to accept, super easy. Let me walk you through what happens. When Sarah logs into her mailbox, she will see the email in her Gmail that says, Kiran Dhananjaya invited you to access. And if she scrolls down, she'll see a link to accept the invitation. Once she accepts the invitation, it'll send a code to her email. So if she goes back to her mailbox, copy the code and put it in the login. Accept this. At this point, she can set up MFA or skip it for now. So I'm going to skip for now. And there you go. She has logged into myapplications.microsoft.com. Now it says there are no apps to show. That's because I've not published any apps for my consultants. Now, here's another cool tip. You can also manage guest users through admin.microsoft.com. And in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, just click on Show All, select Users, and select Guest Users. And you will see Sarah listed right here. 
want to add another guest user from the screen, simply click on add a guest user and it will take you back to the Azure portal we started with. Select invite user and you will follow the same invitation steps we just covered. And there you have it. You just learned how to invite guests using Microsoft Intro ID. Pretty awesome, right? So now you know how to manage external users in Microsoft Intra ID. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your IT teams. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss my latest tech videos. Enjoying the content? Here's how you can support me. Every contribution helps fuel more tech videos from research to editing, keeping the knowledge flowing your way. Show some love with quick tap on that thanks button below or you can buy me a coffee. And for our friends in India, you can support me directly through PhonePay. Until next time, keep growing those tech skills.